I'm Terry Box, the auto writer with the Dallas Morning News. This is the 2016 Chevrolet Suburban, sort of a modern Conestoga wagon for affluent settlers. Oldest nameplate in the auto industry. Been around since the 30s. It's big, it's heavy. This model's got four-wheel drive. It weighs three tons. The, the, the beauty of the Suburban is it's got three rows of seating, which a lot of people need. An upgraded version of the 5.3 liter V8. You wouldn't think a 5.3 liter V8 would be enough for something that weighs 6,000 pounds. 355 horsepower, 385 pound-feet of torque. It doesn't, not bad. Got a great sound. You know, it, it uh, pulls this big old truck extremely well. Zero to 60 in the uh, low to mid seven second range. About as much as you would expect from something this size. It's, it's got nice material. The execution of the interior is really upscale. I mean, it, the gaps, there's no gaps. It's, it's kind of exactly like what you would expect in something high end. Nice material on the seats. This particular model, LTZ, is $73,725. You get in it and it has uh, um, just a not compact feel, but because the steering is so good and the handling is really pretty reasonable for something of this height, that it almost shrinks in size. And I've had it in plenty of traffic and was really impressed with with just its overall capabilities. If you need something of this size with this capability, there just aren't that many vehicles of any kind out there to compete with it. So Chevrolet has owned this segment and to its credit, the Suburban, I think, just gets better every year. They know it a little better and improve it. And hey, on top of that, it's built in Arlington. What more can you ask?